anything I do with two sticks, just keep in mind, you can always do with one. Very core intensive today. So for my Pilates peeps out there, um, and even if you're not a Pilates person, I'm gonna take you through some traditional Pilates moves that will only enhance and stabilize your moves while using the stick. All right, you guys, when the sun comes out a little more, you're gonna see me better. All right, so starting with one stick, one stick. And I want you to take a nice wide horse stance, soften those shoulders, and let's start by taking a big inhale up. Inhale and exhale. Really flow through the breath here. Big inhale and exhale. Just hitting those three planes of motion, getting that spine nice and warmed up. Inhale, hold high, hold high. Let's take a nice lateral tilt. Nice, just really feel that opening up, that lateral line, feeling it through the rib cage, through the obliques. Nice and easy. Use the breath. Bring that stick up high, and let's bring it right in front of the chest. Your arms are wider than shoulder, and go ahead and do a nice little turn to one side, hitting that transverse plane. Hope everybody's doing good. Bring it back center. And now bring it down to the hips. We're gonna take another big inhale up. And let's do a nice little wall slide behind the head, neck, resting that stick on the shoulders. Open up those arms. Think about your leverage. So the leverage is your press, all right? So your leverage right now is with that right hand. And I want you to just Gently press that stick towards the floor. You're gonna open up, try to keep nice and stable. Breathe. Big inhale and exhale. Opposite side, leverage with the left or whichever side you're working with. So really it's, it's assisting me with lengthening, opening up that whole right lateral line, feeling that tissue just nicely expand don't overextend, we're just getting going, and bring it back. So nice transverse turn, one more time. This time, just the leverage is in that front hand, and you gently, gently just press it. Try to press it to 12 o'clock if you can. Big inhale, exhale, back to center. Opposite hand, try to reach. I can't quite go as deep. My range of motion is a little more limited on this side. So never push to overstretching. Just go to your limit and hold. You'll get there. <laughs> Big inhale and exhale. Nice. All right, taking that stick, bring it right in front of your hips. Bring those feet parallel and open up that chest. Take a big inhale. Exhale, let's hinge the body forward. Hinge the body forward, just to 90 degrees. Don't go too deep yet. And hold. If you wanna go a little deeper, just push your hands out a little wider. And hold. Feeling that right in the back of the hamstrings. Soften those knees and slowly, slowly, slowly lift on out of that. Nice. Bringing the stick behind the back and then we're gonna be moving on to two sticks pretty soon. So stick is right along the mid to upper back. Open up, open up those arms. And let's just go into a little bit of uh, rotation. So starting with one side, right side or left, doesn't matter. And just start kayaking behind the back. Now the movement is in that upper thoracic spine. So try to keep those hips nice and stable, waking up those shoulders. 
We're gonna move forward into a little bit of a deeper stretch. So let's take it one, two, on three, tip that stick down towards that center line in front of the body and just hold. If you want to try 10 to 20% deeper, tilt. Hold it here. If this is your range and you're good here, stay here. If you feel like you can go a little deeper, tilt a little deeper. Connect that stick to the floor. So if you're connected here, you're going to really feel that opening up that shoulder, that back arm. And just, just hang here for a moment. Breathe. Now, taking a nice little lateral flow here, little small lateral lunges. They're very small, not too deep, just a little, just a little flow. Stick is connected to the rib cage, feeling that you're pressing into it. Breathe, now take it back to center. Soften the knees before you lift out. Let's lift that stick back up to that 12 o'clock line and then bring it back center. Relax. Nice. Let's get that other side. So again, nice white horse stance, starting with that opposite lead and just roll. Yeah. Let's just wake, wake that upper body up. Wake those shoulders up. Breathe. All right, here we go. Let's take it. One, two, three, and opposite arm. You're at that nice little tilt. Hinge forward a little deeper. Your leverage is pressing with that left hand right here. And if you want to go a little deeper, try to connect the stick to 12 o'clock in front of you. Just hold, get your, get your body nice and stable. Really take time to feel this movement and to feel this lengthening, opening up that shoulder, pull. We're gonna try a little lateral movement. If you're not feeling comfortable with that, just hold it here and let's go. And just nice little sway. Working with the breath. All right, a couple more and then we'll slowly lift out of this. Take it back to center and reach down and soften the knees, gently come back up and come on out of that stretch. Beautiful. Grab your second stick. If you have one stick, you're gonna work with your grip center here. So if it's one stick, it's 12 o'clock, okay? We're gonna open up, we're gonna do a nice little lateral lunge, get a, getting a stretch for the adductors or in our thighs. If you have two sticks, place them in front, they're parallel, and your grip is just about chin height. Nice, I want you to take as wide a stance as you feel comfortable taking here, okay? You can turn your toes out to a nice little sumo squat. So drive those sticks, radiate them into the ground. You want to feel at least you're pushing them in at least 30 to 40% or more. So let's go ahead and take it to the right. So seeing that my sticks are still center, they're not moving with me. I'm feeling that stretch in that adductor, that my left inner thigh here. Breathe. And slowly come up. Drive, opposite side, stick stay stable, movement moves laterally. Ah, just feel that nice deep stretch. Breathe. And now take it back center. This time we're gonna add a little bit of a flow. So taking it to the right, the sticks are gonna sway to the left a little bit. You can do this with one stick too. 
and take it side to side. That stick is at 12 if you're working with one. And let's keep going, flow. Maybe each time getting maybe 10% deeper. One more time. Breathe. And bring it back to center and walk those feet in. Heel toe it, nice. All right, we're gonna warm up the hips a bit. So bringing the sticks right in front of you. Feet together, you're right in between. The sticks are probably about, I don't know, 20 inches away from your feet here, but nice arms length here. Bring them up parallel and drive that right knee up. Nice 90 degree, I'm gonna show it to you at an angle here so you can see this. Nice 90 degree, drive those sticks in. You're gonna open the leg laterally right into that right stick and push. I'm pushing into that stick right about my ankle and shin. Pressing at least 20 to 30%. Now bring it center and let's take it inside. So crossing over, pushing in with the arch of my foot or the instep of my foot. Push. This is a little bit of work here. Open up again. Press. Feeling that in the glute. Abductor. Try to keep that 90 degree and that, that lifted leg. And let's take it across. Press. You're gonna feel that in your adductor. Right at the attachment of your hip too. And bring it center and release. Nice. Opposite leg, just getting that hip warmed up. Drive those sticks in again. Keep them con connected with the floor. This is your stability tool right now. So driving your left knee up or opposite leg, drive. Now you're in charge of how wide you wanna open that hip, okay? So I'm not going too wide here, just pressing into it, keeping that 90 degree. I can feel that again, right in my shin, right about the ankle and push. Press, 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 30 to 40% pressure, maybe a little, not too much more, but you're feeling it. All right, switching, crossing over and push. This one feels a little different. Might be a little more challenging. Let's open it up again. Keep driving those sticks. You're gonna start heating up the body here. And cross it over. You've got this. <laughs> Bring it back center and lower. Nice. Open wide. This time, the sticks are slightly at an angle. They're at arm's length. You want, so your arms are bent. You want those arms straight out. Grip is at shoulder height, right here. Breathe. So raising that right leg and push. Really, just press into that stick. Try to think 30 to 40% push. And hold. And bring it back. Let's do one more, same leg. Maybe press a little bit more, maybe think 40 to 50%. Here we go, drive, raise, and press. Push into that stick, yes. Take it three, two, one, release. Shake it out. Let's get that opposite side. Drive, laterally raise that opposite leg. Keep those hips facing me, arms strong and push, 30 to 40%. Hold, hold, hold. Whew. 
and release. One more time. Drive and abduct. Press, 40 to 50% pressure. Hold, keep pressing. Take it three, two, and one. Release, nice. Shake it out. Take a nice, big, wide stance here. We're gonna go right into the human cell, sail. We're gonna take a little flow here. Bring the sticks to the inside of your feet, right about where the arch is. Your grip is just maybe about eye level or forehead level, okay? Nice wide, go as wide as you can stand, okay? Take a big inhale, exhale, push those sticks forward, drive them forward. Arms are stick straight. Strong grip, big inhale, exhale, open into that human sail. And just go to your range. And slowly wrap it back. So as you're opening, the trick here is keeping those sticks driven into the ground. So you're pushing and also opening. Let's do two more. Big inhale, exhale. Maybe try 10% deeper range and bring it back. One more. Big inhale. Through the nose, exhale, open. This feels good. Ah, hold it here, hold it here. And bring it back center. Beautiful. One more with two sticks here. So we're gonna hinge. I want you to think about hinging your body forward. Again, grip is probably a little bit lower. I'm thinking maybe chin height here. Drive those elbows back. Squeeze through those shoulder blades. And I want you to hinge, hinge your body forward. Sticks come straight forward. Sticks are connected, supported by the feet here. Legs stay where they are. Open, right arm. Open, left arm starts crossing over. Now you can, your grip may slide down a little bit. Keep pulling that right arm back and keep reaching with that left. Keep those legs straight. How do we get out of this? <laughs> slowly, that's how we get out of it, slowly. Open up that left, right follows, and come up. So you can see how my grip changed just in that reach. That's, you're gonna move it a little bit. All right, place it back. Opposite side. Legs straight, keep those sticks connected to the inside of your feet, stabilize them. Pull the elbows back, squeeze through those upper traps, those shoulder blades. Inhale, exhale, reach. Movement is in the upper body only. Start opening that left arm. Open. Right arm starts to follow. The grip may slide down a bit. Keep going. How deep can you go here? Just hold. We're opening up a lot of lateral lines here that fascial tissue, <laughs> many directions. Slowly come out and bring it back center and up. Again, see how the grip changed slightly. We're gonna do one more, a little bit, little bit faster, not too much, but just slightly bit faster, getting both sides again. Here we go. Maybe it's a wider stance. Maybe you're gonna go a little deeper range in one of those arms. So think about, set your intention of how 
you're gonna do this. Now you know what's coming. Drive it in. Inhale, exhale, hinge, reach, and flow. Flow. Follow. I'm trying to pull that right stick into my rib cage. Slow. Slowly come out of it. So deeper stretch there. Adjust your grip. Let's get the other side. Drive in. Exhale. Reach. Reach. Here we go. Right into that flow. Breathe. Focus on your movement. All right, trying to pull deeper. And slowly come back out, take your time, take it back to center, and let those sticks assist you. Wow, okay, nice job, you guys, nice job. We are going to move into strength. We're gonna move into strength now, and it's gonna be a lot of uh, core that we're gonna do. So I want you to find a wall. We're just gonna work the oblique and lateral tissues here. We're gonna take one stick, get this out of the way, and press it into the wall. Door, wherever you can find it. Bring your phone with you if you need to move around. So starting just at hip height, and I'm gonna show it to you at angle, so just so you can see, it's gonna be a little different. I want you straight on though. I'm gonna have to paint my walls. <laughs> they need painting anyway. <laughs> okay, drive that stick in. Come to the end of the grip here, not the, not the full end, but just right here. And nice wide horse stance, feet parallel, drive that stick. I want you to irradiate it into the wall, 50 to 60%. Ready? One, two, three, press. That's it. You're gonna feel that in the oblique. Push, push, push. Release. Let's do it again. One, two, three, think 60 to 70%. Push. You're probably saying, Debbie, why are you making me mark up my walls? <laughs> Clean the end of your stick. <laughs> And release. Clorox spray works good. <laughs> All right, let's take it, it out. Let's take it chest height. Now this time, right at chest height, think 40 to 50%, one, two, three, push. So I'm feeling my oblique activate here. It's just subtle and you're feeling it in that delt. Tricep, lat, one, two, three, release. Shake it out. 60 to 70%. One, two, three, press. This is strong. Straight. Breathe. Release. Nice. All right. High. Work in that shoulder. Arms stick straight up. Okay, let me get back in the Instagram phone here. Here we go. High, draw navel in the spine. 40 to 50%, ready, one, two, three, drive. Feeling it right in that lat, oblique. Release. Let's think. 50 to 60%, one, two, three, drive. Hold it, four, three, keep driving, two, one, release. All right, other side. Good job, guys. Starting at that hip, starting at hip level. Arms are straight down. Take it down to the end of the stick here. All right, ready. 40 to 50%, one, two, three, drive. Push that stick in. Feel that activation. And release. Shake it out. Chest height. Arms are straight this time. Straight out in front. Get ready to drop. 
One, two, three, press. 40 to 50%. Relax. I didn't give you your 50 to 60 on the lower one, but we're gonna do it here. So 50 to 60%, one, two, three, drive, drive, press. You wanna go harder, go harder. Breathe, release. All right, let's take it up. Uh, let's see where I'm gonna go here. <laughs> right here. Shoulders down. Arms straight, get ready, 40 to 50%. Press into the wall, one, two, three, press. Drive, 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 I'm feeling that more in my lat. I'm actually feeling it in my right glute too. Kind of working contralaterally here. And release, shake it out. At least that's what I'm feeling it. So focus on what your body is feeling. We all might feel something different. 50 to 60%. One, two, three, drive, drive, drive. Nice, breathe. Hold it, three, two, one, release. Whew. All right, grab your second stick, we're moving to the floor. A little more core work, again, one stick, you're good. We'll be able to do it with one, two. Let's have a seat. So taking a seat, find a place though where you're gonna sit, where you're gonna anchor your sticks into you know, the base, the baseboard or the floor. I'm taking my couch. My couch is right here. Come on down, have a seat. We are getting ready to do what is called a teaser. It's a nice little name, but it's a very hard, <laughs> hard core move. But using the sticks really helps stabilize you and achieve that teaser, I found out, because the teaser is very hard to do with nothing. <laughs> All right, here we go. So come to a nice little boat pose here. Your sticks are parallel, just about shoulder width, maybe slightly wider apart. And I want you to just slowly, slowly, Roll down, press those sticks into that anchor point. Roll down, nice and slow, right onto your back. Coming into that supine position. There we go. Hands are on the grippies here. And I want you to squish that little marshmallow and the lower back into the floor. Draw navel into spine, drive, activate. Really get that spine nice and straight. Tailbone to the tip of your crown here. Let's start with bringing both knees in. Pull both knees in. Drive those sticks. Those legs are tabletop right now. Lift head and shoulders slightly. Keep those arms straight and then extend those legs out, 45 degree angle, and then tuck. Keep going, extend. If you need to rest your head and shoulders, do so. Takes a lot of work here. Keep that lower back. Squish that marshmallow into the floor. Think about your movement here. Strong grip, hips planted into the floor, Legs at 45 degrees, head and shoulders lifted. But rest is needed. One more, extend, bring the knees in and relax. Relax, you guys. Give yourself a little break here. All right, so we're gonna roll up to sit. Pull the knees in, take a big inhale. Exhale, roll up. Nice. Nice boat pose again. Let me get this underneath my sit bone here. So we're gonna, that was a half teaser, just to get you familiar with the legs. It's like a little reverse crunch. Arms are straight up. Extend up. 
Now tuck knees in. If this is too much, just do one at a time. You can alternate it, right and left. If pulling both in is just too much on your lower back. Again, we're radiating the sticks into the anchor point. All right, if you have both up, hold here, drive, reach up, teaser. Again, you could do it with one leg and just alternate. Pull knees in, slowly roll back. Nice. All right, we're going to try this. <laughs> Let's see if I can even do it. <laughs> Drive it in, but the sticks actually assist you in this movement. So pull both knees in, pull both knees into the chest. Breathe, raise head and shoulders. Take a big inhale, extend those arms out, exhale. To so come up into that teaser, engage those abs. Big inhale, exhale, teaser. And here we go, lower. If you're looking at me like you're a crazy lady, bring feet down, because <laughs> I know that's a tough move. And keep the feet on the ground. Here we go. Lift head and shoulders, extend those arms up, Big inhale, exhale. You can just do this. This is a half teaser. Engaging your abs, keeping that lower back into the mat. Reach. Drive. You're driving those sticks in at least 30 to 40% and pull back. Okay, one more time. We're gonna do this. <laughs> one more teaser or just take it to a half teaser. Or if you want to just do crunches, just work in the abs, do what feels right. Drive sticks in, push that lower back into the mat. Pull knees into the chest, lift head and shoulders. Extend those legs 45 degrees, arms are stick straight, parallel. Take a big inhale, on the exhale, lift. This is a great, using the sticks is a great way to perfect your teaser. For those of you who are loving Pilates, Pilates is amazing. The stick is an amazing tool to enhance that. And slowly come back and lower the legs and just relax. Good job, you guys. All right, let's just tuck those knees and roll up to sit. And we're going to work with one stick. We are finishing with bow and arrow. You only need one stick for this. We're gonna work a two-part bow and arrow here. Whew, that was hard. <laughs> All right, let's take a nice, nice horse stance here. Feet are not too far apart, just a little slightly wider than hip. Drive that stick in, three o'clock. It's probably about 12 inches away from that outside foot, outside of your foot. Drive, drive. Think 90 degrees here, 90 degrees. Reach the opposite hand up, grip. Press that stick, lower the hand, keep it 90 degrees. Press that stick into the floor. Now to go in that bow and arrow, you're gonna shift your hips out laterally. Keep those hips squared off. Take a big inhale, exhale, Activate, not going too deep, and hold. Working that oblique, opening up that whole lateral line. This is such a wonderful move here. Wonderful stick mobility move. And slowly come out of it, shake it out. Let's do it again. Maybe this time activate and press that stick, maybe 10% deeper range. Here we go, or maybe 20. I want you just to go for it. Here we go. Drive, 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 drive. Shift, hips out. Take a big inhale and activate. There we go. I went a lot deeper this time. And just hold. Breathe. 
and release. One more like that, and we're gonna add on to this as just an optional addition. You don't have to do this. We're gonna add a little movement to this bow and arrow. So drive, top grip, shift hips, big inhale, exhale, activate. Once you feel stable, try to wrap both arms in front of the body. Not too far, just right in front of the chest. Open up, and if you can, little back bend. One more time to the front. Keep that strong grip. Open up into a back bend a little bit. Bring it back center. Press. And release. That was work. All right. Different type of bow and arrow. We're going to come into a nice diagonal lunge here. Right leg forward, left back. You're in a high lunge. Strong grip. It's slightly in front of your right foot to, to the left of it. Here we go. Pull it in, just, you, yes, there we go, about 10 inches away. So this time you're gonna drive. Drive the stick in, strong grip. Take a big inhale. On an exhale, move your body into that stick. Pull that top hand towards you and you're coming into a front bow and arrow. Really, your dorsiflex that back foot so you could really get that hip open. Hold, hold, hold. And release. Let's do one more. Big inhale. And exhale. Activate. Nice. Just hold, let's just hold this one, keep it stable, nice isometric move here. Hold it four, three, two, and one, release. Nice job, you guys. Opposite side, shake it out. Here we go, so remember we have three, three parts, and each time maybe think about going 10%, 20% deeper into that activation. Final one, the third one is the movement. So drive it in, drive it in. 90 degree in that inside arm, reach up, drive, 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 drive. Shift your hips out. Take a big inhale, exhale, activate, and just hold. We're progressing in this bow and arrow. So, so set your intention on how deep you want to go in this progression. If this is it for you, that's fine. This is all good. If you're new to bow and arrow, don't overdo it. We're going to go again. Drive. Shift. Big inhale. Exhale. Activate. Oh, really feeling it opening up that lateral line through the rib cage. Lots of obliques. Feels good. Hip. And release. Shake it out. We're going, going into it one more time and think about adding that movement or not. Do what feels right for your body. Push that stick in. Shift. Really strongly push it into the floor. Big inhale, it's gonna take extra irradiation here for this movement. Drive. Hold, hold, hold. When you're ready, if you want to slowly wrap the stick right in front. My arms are straight. Wrap it back. Keep pressing into a little back bend if you can. And one more time, whoo, this is hard. Hold it steady if you're not ready for this wrap. And open up, a little bit deeper. Bring it back to center and release. 
Here we go. Diagonal lunge here. Then open up that hip. Activate your tricep. Top grip here. Again, dorsiflex that foot. So you're in a nice high lunge, really feeling that in the hip here. Hand comes to the sticker. So drive, stick in, take a big inhale. And exhale, press. You're moving your body forward, shifting into that front bow and arrow. It's actually a warrior pose. <laughs> it's definitely a warrior pose with this bow and arrow added. Breathe. Slowly come out of it. Shake it out. Whew. Let's do one more. So again, drive that stick into the floor. Drive, drive, drive. Take a big inhale. And exhale, press. There you go. This is a very, very strong pose. I love this pose. <laughs> I feel like a warrior doing this. And we're stretching to be stronger here. Mobility matters, you guys. Whew. And slowly, slowly come out of it. Nice job. All right, just the finisher is just gonna be a nice standing child pose, really lengthening the spine, pulling the hips back. I want you just to really enjoy this stretch. Take your, your feet are nice and wide. Stick is right at 12 o'clock. Nice little angle. Take a big inhale, pull the stick in. Exhale. Lengthen, hinge forward, pull the hips back, looking between your arms towards the floor, and just hold. Soften those knees, bone by bone, round out of this. Right to the top. Let's do one more. One more. Take a big inhale. Exhale, drive, pull hips back, lengthen. If you want to add and explore a little more movement, go for it. Nice flow, big inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. One more. Inhale through the nose. And exhale. Slowly again. Draw navel in the spine. Pull rib cage in. Chest. Clavicle. Drop those shoulders in your back pocket. And release. That's it, folks, for our Thursday Mobility Flow. I hope you enjoyed class. This class will be living on the IGTV on Stick Mobility's page. Also, follow us on YouTube. This class is on YouTube. And looking at my screen, my lighting is better on my YouTube platform than this one. So you might want to do this class on the YouTube. Have a great day. All our classes, live classes, we have Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. And you guys have a wonderful day. Again, my name is Coach Debbie, Debbie F. Gleason.